Please adhere to YouTube selected guidelines before viewing the content of this video. Do not, I do not encourage or condone any products, actions, or behavior shown in this video. All videos are produced in a safe, professional, and controlled environment. Please do not attempt to replicate any actions performed during the video. All actions are performed by professionals. So today I took a trip down to Cookie San Bernardino because it's been a very, very long time that I've been to a cookies dispensary and it used to be one of my favorite places to go to up until I really got annoyed and fed up with the amount of taxes that I had to pay and that's when I completely cut off going to cookies. I only really ended up going whenever they had special drops, special strains and all of that good stuff or special meetups and to be quite honest with you, if they fix that tax issue where they could minimize it even by like 10 to 20 dollars it would make me go there a lot more but as of right now the taxes are just completely crazy i mean today like i said i ended up going to cookies and i only bought three items and those three items ended up running me well over 200 dollars right ladies and gentlemen so today i'm gonna be breaking into the bag and i'm gonna be showing you guys what your boy said G got and let me know down in the comments below do you guys think that these three items were worth the 200 beans that I spent I believe it was a 213 at the end of the day after taxes and all that stuff so in my personal opinion it is quite high but you know when you go to cookies you know for sure you're gonna be ending up getting some of the best of the best flour carts dabs all of that stuff they usually tend to carry some of the best stuff and some of the most unique stuff too, all right? So without further ado, let's go ahead and break into the bag. The first item that we ended up getting was obviously gonna have to be some flour. Now, originally I wanted to go and get me some cereal milk, some Gary Payton, some Cheetah Piss, but I was like, you know what? I've had all of those strains before. So let me go ahead and see what other strains they had. Now, while I was looking around, they had so much to offer and so much to choose from, but what was really, really catching my attention was the Ted's Buds and this one to be specific which is gonna be the Zuckas all right it has a picture of a little grandpa right there sucking on a lollipop pause and I just figured I was like yo this is pretty sick packaging now normally I wouldn't go towards flashy packaging but that I know it's Ted's Buds and when it comes down to Ted's Buds they usually have nothing but fire I don't think I've ever had a Ted's Buds strain that was kind of mid or even bad everything is pretty good and really really good all right ladies and gentlemen so the Zuckas is gonna be the number one thing that we got the second flower item that we ended up getting was gonna be some blueprint p90 now I've been hearing a lot of good things from blueprint I think I've only ever had their triple Lindy in cartridge format and flower format and that was about it all right ladies and gentlemen and while it was good I, I just like I don't know what it was I just didn't end up copying blueprint again so I figured if I still keep hearing good things about them, let me go ahead and give them a try and see what all the hype is about, right? So we ended up getting some Blueprint P90. And on to the last item that we have inside of this packaging. Obviously, we had to get ourselves a cookies exclusive. And that was going to be this right here, which is going to be the Gary Payton Vape, all right? So it's a live resin vape to be exact. It's a powers up collaboration. And you guys already know, they were released these strains I think what was it like two three years ago and they've just like it's been a staple for them ever since then it's the Gary Payton cheetah piss cereal milk and some other strains but yeah we have it in a cartridge format and I think we're gonna be breaking into this one today along with some of the other flower items but let me know down in the comments below do you guys think that this was well worth over 200 beans I personally like I said do not think so but at the same time, I can see why, because obviously you have to pay the state taxes and all that stuff. But this stuff right here is exclusive to like cookies and certain dispensaries. In my area right here, the cookies is the only dispensary that has this. I would literally have to drive maybe two, three, four hours to be able to get this anywhere else. So it's so much more of like a convenience type thing that they have all of these awesome exclusive type strains in that dispo, right, ladies and gents. Now that I showed you guys 
guys what I got. Let's go ahead and break open the Gary Payton vape and see how it's hitting. It was like, when I went in there, it was pretty cool because they changed up their system, right? Before you had to talk to someone and they put it on the tablet, you go up to the front. But this time you could actually go in, you, get, you grab yourself like a little bag and then you just start shopping around and it's pretty freaking dope experience. You go up to the front, ring it up, and it's kind of like if you're going grocery shopping, right, ladies and gentlemen? So, and then when I was looking up there, when I was, they had a bunch of different flavors. They had this one, and then they had like two other ones, which was like disco, and then I forgot what the third one was, but this one right here, there was only one of these left, and the other ones, they had like five, six, seven of them left, and I figured, if this is the last one there, then maybe it's the most popular. So, I know that Gary Payne is already a staple strain, so I went ahead and took it. In terms of the packaging, it's pretty freaking dope. I remember the last cookies that cart that I had, it wasn't the best, but hopefully they can redeem themselves in this little review because like I said, the last one that I had was not too good and maybe they watched the video and they were like, yo bro, we need to take some tips from Sebi G and we need to upgrade our cart game. So let's go ahead and try this off. Like I said, the packaging is dope. It says right here to peel off this sticker in order to expose it and open it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do that right now. I guess you have to grab this little tab right here and it goes all the way around like that and then it opens up and pretty dope I guess easy to open up and then as soon as you open it up it only has the cart in there and it just so happens to be a full 1G and so far I can already tell that they did a major revamp on the carts the oil right off the rip is looking pretty freaking high quality it has the cookies rubber bandings right here on the bottom and then on top and then the exclusive thing that they did was that they took the tip of it and they customized it to their own liking, right? I don't know if that's focused in right there, hopefully it is, but it is the cookies logo C letter and it has a little bite mark right there and that's pretty freaking dope, right, ladies and gentlemen. So overall, this cartridge is looking neat and it's looking different. So I'm looking at the cartridge right here and I'm noticing that it doesn't have like holes where they would usually be, you know, to wake up the oil. I don't see any holes on this whatsoever and it's a little bit more concaved. So who knows, this might be some new tech that they're trying out. Now let's go ahead and break this bad boy in and see how it's tasting. And what battery are we gonna be using for today? You already know it's gonna be the Toki 510 thread wireless battery the long time battery that we've been using on this channel. I don't really need to say more about it, all right? You guys already know how much I like it. Superior battery, great battery for whenever you're chiefing light resins to get that low temperature, get that perfect cloudage, and at the same time, get that perfect terp. So we're gonna be using the white edition one. If you guys ever want to cop a Toki battery and save a little bit on that, you guys can go ahead and use, I believe it's like code Sebi G or something. I'll leave it down in the comments below. Save yourself a little bit of cash if you ever end up copying any Toki battery or accessory and without further ado we got the freaking car on the battery all there is to do I'm gonna go ahead and lower this to the, the lowest setting which is the cyan and then I'm gonna go ahead and just get straight to ripping Ooh. kind of like a cushy earthy Where's the box at, bro? I'm trying to find the box just so I could read like the front and the back of it, but is it tasting like live resin? It's not tasting like your generic live resin, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit this a couple of times and see if maybe I have to prime the coil a little bit more because while I did get some taste off of the first rip, it was just very, very small. A tad bit of sweetness on the back end, but it has like a, a deep, rich taste to it that I really, really can't pinpoint accurately describe what it is. It definitely has like a, like a hazy, like taste to it I which is weird because I don't really taste like haze too much nowadays it's very very rare that I do and this right here is very very reminiscent of that on top of that I do get a tad bit of sweetness on the back end but the combination of flavors is just like something that I've never really had before and when I tried this in flower format I really really wasn't too impressed right but the cartridge is kind of like 
kind of kicking in a lot more and I'm kind of enjoying it a lot more too. In terms of the effects, this definitely is a very, very heavy high effects and it, it kicks in damn near immediately from head to toe, all right? So in terms of the effects, I would say that it's a good one, but let me go ahead and take a couple more puffs and see what kind of like turt profile I'm getting off this. Hazy with like a vanilla frosting on the back end, like citrusy too. And while it's not my favorite flavor that I've ever had, it's still a pretty freaking fire flavor. And I, I mean, would I get this again? Definitely. I definitely think if I was like, you know, in in wants of like a cookies cartridge or something, like I only had a cookies dispo, this right here would definitely be something that I would consider copping because number one, it is more on the budget friendly side. And then number two, you get a full G, it's freaking fire in terms of the effects. And then on top of that, you get a pretty decent taste to it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Now, does it taste like real and like live resin? In my personal opinion, I don't think that it, it is. I don't know, it doesn't say right here if it's like 100% live resin, but I mean, you would think so, right? But I think this might be a little bit of a combination. I'm trying to read on the box. What would be my overall rating for the Gary Payton cartridge? Uh, I definitely think that I would have to give this bad boy right here. Hmm, a good seven, seven out of 10. I think a good seven out of 10 for me, right? The effects definitely is what makes this. And in terms of the of the overall taste, it definitely tastes pretty decent. And yeah, that's all there is to say about it. Definitely a fire car overall. And I'm not really disappointed at all. And it's a really, really huge upgrade from the other cartridges that I made a review on. Like, what was it? Like a year ago or something like that. This one right here is pretty spot on and I like it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So seven out of 10. And yeah, that right there was what 200 bucks got me at the Cookie San Bernardino Dispo here in California. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. I'm out. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor by leaving a like, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below, and we'll catch you guys later.